when you open the mark scheme for this section that's task two identifying and fixing defects in an existing code you're going to see this section here and this section here is going to highlight to you the reader all the mistakes found in the current one that we're looking at obviously you won't get this in the exam so you will need to go through and fix all of these issues yourselves i'm not going to dwell too much on this because again this will change every single year you will never ever ever have the same things shown to you again this is the one from 2021 if i scroll down I'm going to look at the mark scheme, the things that you need to focus on. So it says, for example, this one here for the assessment focus on the banding and the grade. So let's have a look, quick look at that assessment focus. Use of testing to identify defects. The maximum marks for this is eight. Understanding of the testing process. The maximum marks for this is four. The solution, the maximum marks is nine. Again, as of 2024, September, this might change. This is old 2021 version. If it does change, you won't be any drastic changes in my opinion. Tests selected show a thorough and detailed understanding of the identified program requirements what does this mean quite simply whatever the program is asking you to enter so this is just for the test this is just for the testing whatever the program is asking you to enter you enter it but you enter it in three different versions again normal data erroneous data and extreme data so the one that we looked at earlier was getting name so the name enter a normal name and i don't mean like an english name i simply mean a name that has a decent amount of characters so maybe between let's say three and 15 characters long you enter some erroneous name and you enter an extreme name so something that you know should never ever work if you identify every single error in the code even if you don't fix it it simply says testing has comprehensively identified the errors in the code provided and if and if you've tested it showing that you can add in normal extreme or erroneous data and you've selected decent tests to show that you understand what the program needs so you go through you follow what the scenario said and you also follow what the program is asking for just by doing that basic testing there you can get eight marks out of the 21 next it says understanding the testing process test log shows a thorough and detailed understanding of how errors and problems were identified and how they were rectified this is a part where you show how to fix the problem so on test log the section that you need to fill in most for that part is probably going to be comments and intended action so what do you intend to do next and you can go above and beyond if you fixed it and you want to run the program again to show it's working and you do a screenshot stick the screenshot in here they are going to be small but don't worry because you're saving this as a pdf whenever the examiner gets it they can always zoom in to a certain degree and see what you've done just make sure that your, your screenshots are are clear enough when you put them in there save it don't compress anything and you should be good and finally it says the solution the code is fully functional so you've fixed everything you found all the errors you've made everything work you get a maximum of nine marks for that if you find some of the errors then you get between one and three marks you don't have to find everything to get some marks if you find most so most what does most look like so let's say we have a total of 10 errors right most errors in my opinion would be anything six and above so if you found five errors and below that's some functionality or some errors you found if you found six and above of the 10 errors that's going to be most in my opinion again and obviously fully functional means that you found every single error so nine to ten of the errors you fixed all of them you've detailed how you fix them you you have screenshots of it working you will have to submit your code as well your working code so don't get too bogged down about doing screenshots showing everything working because once the examiner gets your code they have to run it they have to put some data in they have to test to see if it works